Good evening, dear. <gasps> That's a very dangerous dengue virus. Over 400 million people, more than the population of America, are infected annually, and there is no cure yet. But I'm working on it. To help all those infected people, I study her. But I don't want to get sick. To tame her, I don't need a, a whip. All I need is science. First, I wear the right protective suit to minimize the risk of infection. Then I sneak up to the virus and steal her genetic information, which is basically a manual for recreating the virus. If I then <coughs> extract only the relevant parts, the relevant genes, the gene itself is no longer dangerous, and I can take off my expensive protective suit. I'm safe now. Suppose I want to study how the enveloped proteins assemble the whole <coughs> virus. In that case, I use only the gene encoding the enveloped protein. And I insert this gene into the E. coli bacterium. After that, <laughs> it is able to produce exactly the same protein in large, enormous, massive quantities. So now I have enough proteins to do whatever experiments I want. With these proteins, I am able to assemble the so-called virus-like particles. These particles have the same structure as those dangerous viruses, but they are not infectious. So this way, I can study different steps in the life cycle of a virus and look for its weaknesses without being worried about the infection. And this simple procedure can be applied to any other virus, like the Zika or the HIV, which in our lab we do. So this is how to tame a virus. <laughs>